Here we are given a nice angle, ABC. They want us to produce, using our construction tools, an angle that is twice ABC. Well, in order to construct an angle that is twice this ABC, the first thing I have to do is construct an ABC. All right, so let's start. We need to take our straight edge, take our writing implement, give ourselves a nice big segment to work from. Let's go ahead and call this our new B. It'll be like B prime. We'll stick with the same name just so you can see the relative location. I'm going to take my compass, put it here at B, and I'm just going to draw a nice arc through both of the rays. So now what I need to do is come down here, find that point of intersection, and I need to draw an arc that's visibly larger than the first one I drew. I would say that that red line is definitely longer than that red line. Now what I'm going to do is come up and I'm going to use my compass to measure the length of the arc in between the rays. So I'm going to put my compass point here. I'm going to adjust the compass until it matches that point of intersection. I'm going to put a construction mark. I don't know, that looks a little big to me. Let's shorten that up a bit. Let's try that again. Nice construction mark. That looks much better. I'm going to keep that same size. I'm going to come down here, give myself that nice same arc, and now when I draw a ray from B through that point of intersection, I will have my first congruent angle to ABC. Well now what I need to do is from this blue line, I'm going to construct another ABC, and then I will have twice the original ABC measure. So again, I'm going to take my compass, and let's change colors just so we can see. I'm going to start from B. I'm going to make myself an arc that I can see. Now I'm going to work from this blue line. So I'm going to turn it a little bit here. Here's my B. I need to draw an arc that is definitely visibly longer than the other one. See how I changed the color? There's that black arc. Here's this much longer black arc. Now I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to come up and I'm going to measure this piece of arc between the two rays using my compass, so I need to adjust it, show my teacher my construction mark, much better job this time, keeping the same setting, I'm going to come down here, here's where my black arc crosses my blue line, make that same construction mark, and now I know when I draw in my next ray, I will have an angle that is twice ABC. So I'm going from that point of intersection through that point of intersection. So this angle here is congruent to this angle here, and this angle here is congruent to this angle here, and because the red and the black angles, these marks here that I've made, are the same angle, that means this red and this black angle are the same angle, which means if I go from here, how about we call him D, and down here I can call him E, angle DBE is twice the size of angle ABC. Pretty nifty.